Hey Cancer, it's your girl Tarot Card Bay. I'm here for your reading. This is your favorite. You made a player fall in love. Uh, we're going to look into the energy of the player, look at your energy, look at the energy between you uh, and some outcomes for you and your interaction with the player. It's been about a month. I do like to space these readings out because I want you all to focus on the present energy, your life, what's going on, new love, new business, and not focus so much on the past, but I know you guys love this reading and I want to bring it to you. So let's jump in. We're going to start with the Oracle of the Radiant Sun, pull one Oracle card for you and one for the player, one Oracle card for Cancer. I wanted to say Capricorn, so that might be relevant for you. One Oracle card for Cancer. What do we have for Cancer? Risk. This is Aries' first house. Hmm. So you could be feeling risky. You could feel like this player is a risk. California could be of importance for you. Someone could feel lured, someone could feel trapped, you could feel this way, you could feel like you lured, this person lured you in, that the player lured you in, or that you lured the player in. I got an energy of you feel, even kind of an energy of feeling tricked, like possibly the player made you think that there was collaboration possible when there wasn't. Energy of feeling lured, tricked, trapped, <laughs> um, or you going towards something that you know is a risk cancer and you know that it can make you feel trapped, you know that it could trigger you, it can make you feel tricked, but still going towards it anyway. I do get for some of you that's a past energy when you interacted with the player, you kind of saw the red flags, you knew what the possibilities and the probabilities are were. Um, you knew that this person could potentially hurt you, but something still drawed you into this person. Yeah. There's also an energy of the player feeling like you can tame them or in some ways you've tamed the animalistic side of the player. What else do we have for the player? Oracle card for the player. Achievement, Capricorn, 10th house. This is the sun in Capricorn energy. So quite frequently, the player is focused on ways that the player can win. Things that the player is good at. Building a legacy. This is a person who wants to be like curated in the history books. Like this is a person who wants to make history. They want to achieve milestones they want to have a victory they want they want a kingdom of their own so this person could be going towards fame trying to become famous going towards wealth chasing wealth chasing legacy um this person's appearance is very important so you could feel that the player is a bit materialistic i know we talked about that before but that is where the focus the player's focus is right now. Let's get a mutual card. What's the mutual energy between Cancer and the player? Mutual energy between Cancer and the player for my Oracle cards. Innovation. 11th house Aquarius energy. I did get this in reverse. So right now there's an energy of not being able to find a creative solution to make this connection work. So for some of you, it was a relationship or it is a relationship. For some of you, it's an actual connection. But currently you two are lacking that creative energy to make this work. So it's like an energy of giving up or not knowing how to move forward in a way that could be successful. So again, Cancer, a part of you kind of feels tricked, lured. You might feel like you set yourself up for failure by interacting with this person. You can feel like that person lured you, tempted you in some way. And I just get the players very self-focused. 
like the car that came out for achievement is more like I'm focused on me. You know, even if the player lured you, tripped you, trapped you, it was because the player is always focused on the player's own goal and achievement. And you could have just been a goal or achievement at the time, Cancer. But let's jump into tarot the tarot to see what we got here let's see how the player feels about you how does the player feel about cancer how does the player feel about cancer eight of cups ace of wands and seven of swords that's how they feel about you The player knows that you see them as a deceptive individual and that you've walked away for a new beginning, something new, passionate, like you're going towards your desires. Um, almost getting the energy of the player wanted to intercept this, stop you from going towards your desires. It could be a specific person, place or thing. But there's something here, Cancer, where this player wanted to come in with the Seven of Swords to stop you from walking away with the Eight of Cups. Stop you from a new beginning. Let's clarify this Seven of Swords. Okay, Three of Wands. Knight of Pentacles. Let me look at that. The Devil and the ace of pentacles this player is coming in now there's an energy here of the player is sitting back with the three of wands waiting for the ships to come in this player thinks cancer that you're going to come towards them that's something that you could have done in the past this is something that you could repeatedly do maybe that's what the trap is this person kept you in a cycle of some sort but the player does feel like eventually you're going to come to them or eventually they're going to get what they want when it comes to you knight of pentacles here is the movement it's almost like an energy of like they're waiting for you to come and they're pretty confident but if you don't come forward the knight of pentacles they will move slowly towards you so as you're slowly walking away from this person or as you walked away from this person in the past this person is actually coming towards you as you're walking away why is that and i didn't get a lot of feelings so what's that about why is that nine of cups? Because you make this person happy, but also this person is selfish. This person likes to be in your energy. This person likes to have you as a cup. This person likes to have your emotion for them on their mantle. Um, so they want to stop you from a new beginning with someone else in which you could give emotion to someone else. You could give your cup of love to someone else. They want to stop this. How does this person feel about cancer? Like what is in this person's heart? Hierophant energy, seven of cups, six of wands. So this person, this person sees you as kind of a wish fulfillment in a certain degree. Since we have the nine of cups here, the seven of cups, this person could have dreamed about you. This person could feel like you're like too good to be true type of energy, but they do want commitment. It's almost like. They know how good you are, Cancer. They know everything you would bring to the table, but they still keep you as an option um, because they are just naturally indecisive. But deep down at the core of everything, they know that they could have a victory with you if they invested everything. Six of Cups. If they connected with you, if they invested in the way that they know they would need to to have a, a successful connection, they know that they would have... Um, Victory with you, marriage is a possibility, commitment is a possibility. They know that they could be with you. So what stops them? We got the Six of Cups energy. They want to offer. They have nostalgia for you. There's a friendship bond. A part of them wants to offer some type of olive branch or they want to offer you a sweet gesture. So why why do they do this temperance because healing still needed that is energy of sagittarius as well five of wands energy and the devil again 
Not only does this person have a lot of options fighting for their attention, which feeds their ego, because that is kind of the devil's energy. This person has internal conflict of their own, something that's stopping them from being able to have a healthy connection. What is that? Will of Fortune came out. Three of Cups. This person could have a lot of negative karma or karma from their past ways, from multiple third parties, from their past, present, and future, um, indulgence, things of that nature. This person is like in a cycle of their own karma. They're getting their karma from, from their past ways. And that is something that's like stopping them from connecting with you. Maybe they feel like they're going to bring that negative karma to you. Page of Cups. This person's also emotionally immature. It's like they don't have a lot to give financially or emotionally. Look at that. Five of Cups and a Three of Swords. This person has a lot of healing to do in their heart space. I feel like from all the cards, and there's a lot of threes here, which always makes me think of past, present, and future. This person has a lot of heartbreak people in their past that still pull on their energy heartbreaks from the past from their family from lovers from friends they are in a lack mentality which is the reason why they always feel like they need more more people more money more liquor more food because they are in this lack mentality and all of that kind of ties to that devil energy that's the reason why they won't commit because they are they are in a survival mentality they are in a place of lack and when you are in a place of lack one of anything won't do not one lover because you're afraid you might lose that lover you know what happens if I give my all to someone and it doesn't work out you know that there's a person out here that could say hey this person gave me their all and it didn't work out. I'm going to be heartbroken. So this player would rather spread their energy, spread their love, their time and attention to multiple lovers so that they never fully invest to kind of evade the pain. However, this person is in a constant cycle of pain. It's very weird. It's like the thing that could break this constant cycle is change behavior. But because of the pain from the past and them being in like a victim mentality, not healing, they just keep repeating these cycles and creating more pain for themselves. And that's not something that you want in your energy, Cancer. All right, let's see. Let's see how Cancer feels about the player. How does Cancer feel about the player? How does Cancer feel about the player? We got five of wands on your side. That is too much work, too much competition, too much other people, too much to battle and fight with. You're fighting against the greater good or something like that. You're just fighting too much the devil. So you see this person for how they, they present themselves to be. You're not in an illusion. You see this person is toxic. You see them as the devil. You are still toxically attached, connected, sexually connected to this person, bound, bound to this person in a certain degree. But you do see them as someone who creates conflict and there's the devil energy, the negative energy here. Four of Wands, that's how you feel about them. And Five of Cups. Even though you see them for how they actually present themselves to be, you are still in a place of remorse because of the lack of commitment, the lack of stability, the lack of connection in the future. You're sad because you don't have this four of wands with this person, even though you know that they're toxic. Eight of wands in reverse. So you... Okay, and three of cups upright. So you're not communicating with this person. You feel like this is something that would constantly keep you in third party situations, like you would have to compete with this person. Um, this person likes to be competed for, that feeds their ego. It makes them feel worthy if multiple lovers are interested in them. Um, it feeds their ego, it feeds their insecurity. And you feel that you will always be in a third party situation with this person because of that need that they have uh, for validation from others. Five of swords, a full card. 
in the Page of Cups. The way you're feeling is actually transforming. Either you're giving less, less emotion or you gave less emotion or you're feeling less emotion. It's almost like the love that you typically have for this person has dwindled, reduced, minimized. Um, and your interest in finding something new is greater than it ever was before. So there could have been a time frame where you just knew that this was your person. You had no intention of moving forward. You knew this was the one for you. Where you are currently, it's like you feel less for this person. You could be closing off your emotions towards this person. And you're more passionate about the idea of something new, the potential of something new. You could be meeting an Aries in your future also. All right. All right, so let's look to see what's the most likely outcome between yourself and the player. What's the most likely outcome between yourself, Cancer, and the player? Most likely outcome, Seven of Pentacles, more waiting, more time needed. This person needs to cook a little bit longer. I don't know if you have the time to give it. Let's see, Page of Pentacles. And the Four of Cups. It's almost like, I, for some reason, I got this analogy of you like looking at this person as like they are a bank account, right? You're going to this person to make a withdrawal and you're getting a insufficient fund kind of message because this person doesn't have what you're asking for what you're requesting what you're requiring what you need to feel comfortable to feel stable like this person is insufficient this person has insufficient funds in what would make your connection grow and overall what would make you happy so more time is needed i do have the empress energy here for you cancer in the future in the eight of cups again so i do see that your connection your commitment your growth the ability to become an empress which is someone who is typically committed abundant comfortable confident all of the queens all of the kings you will reach this or you are on the path to reaching this empress status as you walk away you're more likely to become an empress when you detach from this than by being connected with it. Let's see, if you stay connected to this player, what would happen? If Cancer stays connected to the player, what happens to Cancer if they stay connected to the player? The hangman, you're going to feel stuck. Look, the head is attached from the body. That's not good, <laughs> you know? Your head is your is your computer and your body is like how you naturally move so your brain and your intuition are always going to be separate you're always going to be stuck with things being the way that they are we got two of wands more energy of making a choice between two different actions two different paths and we got the two of pinnacles juggling this person keeps you stuck this person keeps you stuck. And if you continue to interact with this person, why they continue to heal, you will feel stuck with them. All right, Cancer. That's what I have for you. Um, that's what I have for you. For those of you who are moving forward, I see you are moving closer to becoming an empress. For those of you who want to continue to deal with this player, you will feel stuck. You will feel like you don't know to go left or go to right because you're picking up on this person's energy and they are stuck with this devil energy. They're bound. They want you to be bound or just energetically you will be bound if you continue to deal with this player. So I hope you like this. Hit the thumbs up. Comment below if you want to chat with me. If you're interested in a personal reading, email me at tarotcardbait at gmail. I love you guys and I'll see you soon.